turn, 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 turn. That's... So I decided to head off to the Grampians. Uh, I advised her to give up and pilot a bit of a serious test. Now in other roads here, it's got no chance of making. Uh, that's a Levicle limitation and I know it's an open pilot limitation. But we thought we'd give it a try anyway. Because most of the roads that you travel on, they're like this. You see it get up to maybe 3 or 4 degrees. Um, some corners get as good as you know 10. But really, the freeway is not much of a test. So I'm not the driver here. My wife's driving at this stage. Um, she doesn't really let go of the steering wheel. Uh, she does occasionally, but not for that long. Uh, so she's not as uh, trusting of the system as me, um, which that's fine. But basically the system drove the whole way from uh, whatever it is, a 45 minute drive. Uh, it drove the whole way with no problem. So we'll speed through this a little bit. Um, get us to Oh, well, basically, so you can see what this bit of the trip's like. So, on to the Grampians. Now, you'll notice there's a lot of odd things going on while we're going through this video. One is all those buttons at the top of the screen, ALC, CAM, MAD, SND, and down the bottom, Record, or REC. Basically, these are all things that we're using. That's why they're all turned on. ALC's advanced lane, ch uh, lane change, we're not using that. It's enabled anyway. Same with CAM, we're not using that, but it's enabled anyway because they're all being overridden by MAD. Basically what that means is that when we turn on and off the cruise control, we turn on and off open pilot. Not got anything to do with whether the cruise is set or not. That means that we can use the accelerator and the brake while driving and open pilot will continue to steer. This is a requirement when we're on the roads like we're going to be on. We can't have it on, on cruise control. Some corners, you know, they're 20k corners. Other corners are 100k corners. And you can't adjust your cruise control constantly for roads like that. So you need proper control of the accelerator and brake. And generally you'd be steering as well. But what we're doing is we're seeing the limitations of open pilot, the limitations of the car. So you can really see how far you can push this. This is not at all a practical application for open pilot nor is it a pra practical application for self-driving at all. It's just really see the limitations of the system and I'll be back. I'll be back and we'll get this better. Now one last thing, my main pointing forward camera. That's a GoPro Hero 7. This is the first time I've used it and it was absolutely horrible. Its stabilization is dreadful. Um, in, a, in the application I'm using it for. So I apologize for the weird way the image jerks around. It's the camera. So this is where we started our first test. This is using 0.5.4. Uh, so as soon as I get around here, you'll see me accelerate. I turn open pilot on, but it doesn't start steering until I lift the accelerator, which you can tell by the destination steer. So now it's steering, and the first corner I had to grab it and help it get around. It didn't make it. Now here, you see I've let go of the steering wheel, it starts turning, starts turning, and it didn't turn enough. And same with this corner, you see that it's lost the lines, and now it even told us to drive into the bush. You can see the green line is not where we want it to be. Um, so basically I wasn't able to let go of the steering wheel at all. And this entire area was the same. So you come up here, we get up to 10, 15 degrees, once we're above 20 degrees, we can't let go of the steering wheel. It it's acts as if the steering's lost torque, but it's not actually the vehicle that's losing torque, it's open pilot that's not instructing the right values. Because you can see there, it's steering off the road. The green line heads out into the distance, and I need to pull it that little bit further. So if you look here, you can see the destination, or the desired steer, is about 10 or 20 degrees less than what it actually needs to be. It's never quite reading the right value. So what I did was, that, well this was actually on the way back into town. So what I did is I stopped and we are, because I had the kids with me, we grabbed them some ice cream, spent some time and we headed off again. So now we're running 0.5.4 Wiggly. Now this was the very hated version, but you can see there on the first corner I actually got a completely new level of torque. Um, this is some distance out of town, this is half an hour down the road now. So you can still see it doesn't get all the corners and I need to save it. 
but these corners are uh, pretty serious. You can see that I don't need to touch anything until we're over 20 degrees now. So we're not getting stuck at that 10 to 15 degree realistic limit. So if you look at this corner, I'll let go, and we're up to 30 degrees, and that's about the limit of the vehicle. But no, we'll, yeah, I got up to about 40 degrees where I started to point forward. So we're nearly double the steering angle. So here it's steering, it's steering. I haven't had to touch it, now I do, because it headed off the road. So the amount of steering angle that you can achieve with the Wiggly version is significantly greater than what you can without it. So these roads were really testing the limitations. So again, let go. We're up there, we're at about 70, 80 degrees, and it basically made the corner. Like it wasn't done well. Now it's worth noticing how bad the steering is oscillating. The reason for that is that we're actually running the tuning for the non-wiggly version, not the wiggly version. So you can tell that I'm not actually holding the steering wheel on these corners, but I'm holding my hand there ready to catch it because you can see it has a lot of trouble with these narrow roads and the shadows aren't helping one bit either. It's detecting all sorts of things on the road that aren't there. But it's actually able to drive this road, um, or at least half of this road. Whereas the standard one, it had no hope at all. So that's the main reason that I'd like to see Wiggly come back. Uh, I don't want it to be quite as aggressive as it was because when you're driving down the freeway, it literally just take an exit. But its ability to turn corners, the moment that you're off the freeway, is way better, way better. It makes what looks like a limitation of the car disappear because it's never actually the car's limitation. You can see that 20 to 30 degrees. I was actually holding the steering wheel on this one. But you can see that Open Pilot sees it the whole way like it's meant to. So I let go of it here and I had to save it. Whether that, that could also be my tuning, limiting how quickly it can steer since I'm travelling so fast.